Hey peeps, it's Sophie from Disrupt Tutoring and as always, it's such a pleasure to join you. Today we're dealing with the Grade 11 2018 Physical Science paper and this is a question on Newton's Second's Law. So let's get started. It says a crate with a mass of 25 kilograms slides down a plane which is inclined at 15 degrees to the horizontal. During the first part of the motion from A to B, there is no friction between the crate and the plane but part B, C has a rough surface. Cool. So 5.1 says, draw a free body diagram of all the forces acting on the crate while it moves from B to C. So B to C is where we see this, this rough surface here, which means that we have a frictional force. And that's, the, that's an important part of this question. So let's see. So let's start with just the the forces that we can see, obviously, which are gravity, the force of gravity, which is weight, basically, and that always points vertically downwards. And then we've got a normal force, which is upwards. So I'm going to write if normal here. And we know this is B to C, so there's a frictional force, and that is opposing motion always. So that's force of friction. But if this makes it easier for you, you can also break up gravity into its separate components. So if you want to do that, you can say, just do your force of friction as normal. There's a normal force coming up here. And then you can split gravity into a component down the slope, which we're going to call Fg parallel because it's parallel to the slope. And there's going to be a component that is normal to it, but we're going to call that Fg perpendicular. So then it's a bit easier to see that, you know, these forces would cancel out and these forces would cancel out if, if it were to be in equilibrium, but it's not in this case because it's moving. Okay, so those are your two options. If you decide to go the parallel and perpendicular route, you shouldn't put this one FG. Remember, you're breaking it up into these components here. So there's no need to put an FG as well if you're going to go this route. Great. So 5.2 says, calculate the magnitude of the acceleration of the crate while it moves from A to B. So A and B are the non-frictional part. So let's just start with a simple Newton's second law um, equation. And that is your F net or F resultant is equal to mass times acceleration. So now it always helps to draw kind of like a free body diagram here as well. So in when it moves from A to B, it's going to accelerate down the direction of the slope. So we know that this is our little box and it's going to have a gravity component, which is vertically downwards. And this is the slope. Let me draw that a bit better. This is the slope coming down. So we could see that, well, we know from Newton's second law that an object accelerates in the direction of the force. So if it's accelerating down the slope, we know that the force, we should break the force into the direction down the slope. So what we really want is the parallel force, the F parallel, which is what we kind of um, showed in the previous question. So let's get straight into the actual calculation. So we know that the parallel force down the slope. So we know that, okay, so if this is the slope here, this line that I've drawn, and we know that this angle is 15 degrees, then we can break this gravity force into components. You can see here, and then there's one going down the slope there. This angle would be 15 degrees here. If you do the geometry, you'll see that that's true. So we need this component here going down the slope. So we know that that is weight, which is mg times sine of 15 degrees. And that is equal to the mass, which is 25 kilograms, times the acceleration. Great. So then we get our acceleration 
if you put it into your calculator, is 2.54 meters per second squared. And that would be down the slope. Okay, so that is the answer for 5.2. Remember, the A, B part of the slope doesn't have any friction. And if it did, then we'd have to take the frictional force into account. Okay, so 5.3 says, uh, write down the direction of the acceleration of the crate while it slows down from B to C. Write only up the slope or down the slope. Okay, so if we think of a box and it's moving down the slope. We've just calculated an acceleration which is going down a slope which is positive and that's speeding up. Now when something is slowing down it actually translates as an acceleration going the other way around. So instead of speeding up down the slope it's slowing down down the slope which means it's actually speeding up up the slope. So the answer to 5.3 is up the slope. Cool. So then 5.4 says calculate the magnitude of the net acceleration from B to C. Well, the magnitude of the net acceleration from B to C is 1.2 meters per second squared. Calcul calculate the magnitude of the frictional force acting on the crate. Great, so I'm just going to erase 5.2 over here because we don't need that, but we will need the free body diagram to help us. Okay, so now we know that Newton's second law is the net resultant force is equal to the mass times the acceleration. Cool. And we are given that the acceleration is 1.2 meters per second squared but we already know that it's slowing down up the slope well down the slope so it has a negative acceleration and that's the same thinking that we did in 5.3 because it's slowing down that's a negative acceleration okay so it wants us to calculate the magnitude of the frictional force so we can just find this f resultant over here and that would be the force of gravity down the slope. So if we define down the slope as positive, and that's always important to define your direction of, well, your direction that you're assuming positive. So we're gonna assume that down the slope is positive, which means that's a positive weight component down the slope, then that is plus now we know the frictional force will always oppose motion. So we know that friction is going to act the other way around. So that's a minus F. And that is equal to mass times acceleration. We know that the mass is 25 kilograms and the acceleration is minus 1.2 meters per second squared. Okay, and then from our calculation before, we know that the the parallel component down the slope is just mg sine 15. So I'm just going to write the actual values. That's m, that's g sine 15 degrees minus friction is equal to 25 times minus 1.2 for acceleration. And then you get your frictional force to be minus 93.41 newtons. Now this comes back to which way we assumed positive. So we've assumed that all positive answers we get are down the slope. So that means that this is the opposite to that because it's a minus, which means that it is 93.41 newtons up the slope. Cool. So that's it for this question. Before I go, I'd like to say a very special thank you to our Epic sponsor for making this video possible. You can read all about them in the description below. Also be sure to visit our website for more of these Epic tutorial videos. And if you can't find the answer to your question, you can send us the question and we'll respond with a personalized video just for you. But until next time, stay Epic.